Okay, today we're working on uh, replacing this PSX series uh, power management board from uh, DCCSpecial.com with a PM42. Okay, now the reason I'm doing that is when I have this board, I got four of them up on the second level, and when uh, the trains come across from Smithville over to Welland Yard is where this board is connected to it trips the board now I've tried everything with this board I move the jumpers around to give it more current but when I do that then it trips the PM42 board so sometimes it trips sometimes it doesn't and it doesn't matter what kind of locomotive you run up there it just goes crazy and it trips out for no apparent reason reason so I got tired of it and I decided to go back to Digitrax for the PM42 just like I have on the rest of the layout I have two of them for the bottom and the middle section and half of the top section so that's what we're working on today okay okay now this is the, uh, I forgot what they call it, the strip they give you that connects to the board. And then you have to put these wires on them. Um, on the A side, this is all the input. The power input. Then on the letter side, you have two wires going out for the output. So you got uh, block one, two, three and four. So I got one, two, three, and four. And then this strip here connects the board like that. Okay. There's also two, two leads for power and I'm still missing a ground that I have to attach. So once I get that done we're going to go over to the other side of the layout and uh, take out the old board and then replace it with this. And uh, hopefully it will work better. Alright, so that's what we're working on. Alright now, what you're looking at is the uh, PSX board that I'm going to be replacing with the PM42. The wires over here on the uh, left hand side are the zones that are powered. One's the Helix, one's Wallen Yard, the other one's uh, Bramford, and the last one is uh, Waterford. So those are the four blocks. And on this side is the jumpers for the power. And uh, green is the ground that is connected to the other side with the rest of the grounds to the system. Alright, so this is what we're going to be taking out, and this is where the PM42 is going to be replaced. There's a couple other things that I have to mount for the PM42 because the uh, wires just don't uh, connect to the board just like this. They connect to the wiring harness that is connected to another terminal strip, and then the terminal strip to the track power. Alright, so I'm going to do that and then uh, we'll come back and see how it goes or how I made out alright alright now as you can see the board is out it was just six screws holding it up I disconnected the wires and here is the board right here okay these are the uh, power bar power to each board and then uh, the outputs are on this side here Okay, so the next step is to mount up the PM42 and wire it up, and I'll show you when I'm done. Well, it uh, took me a couple days, but uh, the board is in. So that's the new PM42 over there. And then these two wires, or I should say a bunch of wires, coming over to this uh, terminal strip is the power from our booster 
coming in. And then these two wires here are the power and it's just connected to a 12 volt power supply just like that plug it in powers up the board and uh, that's the way it works and uh, if you noticed <laughs> over here I have the black connected to the red and red connected to the back black I should say it's because <laughs> what happened is when I was soldering the wires onto this terminal strip or this strip here I made the mistake of uh, putting the red as uh, rail A and the black as rail B when it should have been the other way around so that was my fault I didn't check my other two too well but that doesn't make a difference all you gotta do is just when the wire comes in over here at that board or that terminal strip just switch the two wires around and it works just fine but uh, that's one thing I goofed on this terminal block here is connecting the uh, bus bars to the PM42 the wires on the right hand side with the blue connectors go to the PM42 and the one the wires on the left go to the bus bar or bus underneath the layout I ran out of connectors for the 10 gauge and 12 gauge wires I'm using 10 gauge so I have to get some blue ones or I should say yellow ones for that side connect them and then uh, it's all done so that's what it looks like when it's all wired up ready to go we had a test and it works perfectly so there's no issues of shorting so I don't know what was wrong with that other board or didn't like the circuitry or the two different systems didn't want to work together I just didn't have any luck with it I mean a lot of people use it they have better luck than I did and they said adjust the uh, output voltage or not the voltage the current I tried adjusting that and just didn't work for me so I just said forget it just turn it, take it out and replace it with the PM42 I have two on the other side of the layout or the middle and the bottom and they work fine so that's what I did just replaced it this works for me like I said this works for the other board works well for other people I just couldn't get it to work for me so that's why I replaced it so I hope this helps you a little bit explains a little bit more on the PM42 of wiring how I did it I'm sure there's a many different ways to do this but this is the way I did it and it works well for me so I hope it helped a little bit and uh, don't be scared give it a shot alright thanks for watching see you next time